Hello class, this is Mr. Kane from My Daily Math Coach. And today we have an activity that is called Trading Rods for Flats. Trading Rods for Flats. And it's a complicated activity. I want to take a second to walk through a problem with you. And hopefully this video will explain it. And uh, when you have these types of problems in the future, you'll be able to get them right every single time. So let's begin with Trading Rods for Flats. Okay, so here is a problem that we have, and on the right-hand side, right over on this side, you see where it says flats in one column and rods in another column. Now, what we need to do is carefully go through each one of these rods right here is really equal to 10 units, or it equals one group of 10. So what we need to do is collect 10 groups, or excuse me, 10, uh, I guess 10 rods in one group to equal one flat. Now, if you could imagine, and we don't have a picture over here, but if this is a flat and it's broken into um, 10 of those rods, we would call that a group of 100. And that's really what a flat is. It's just a different name. So what we can do is go through here and carefully select groups of five rods like we did and two groups of five rods will equal one flat so let's do that let's say one two three four five and let's make a group of five one two three four five and let's do that again one two three four five one two three four five let's do it again one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. 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 And the bottom row here. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And there's two left here at the end. So now what we need to do, and I'll pick a different color as we select them, is come up with ten. Ten, that would be two groups of five, like this one group of ten. Well, that'll be one flat. Here's another group of ten. That's another flat. And another group of 10. That's another flat. But see, I don't have another group of 10, so I need to keep these as rods, just like that. So I have three flats, and I have 5 plus 2, which would be, excuse me, 5 plus 2, which is 7 rods. So three flats, 7 rods, this would be equal to 300 plus... Seven rods, or we can call those seven tens, would be 70. So the total amount would be 370. So this has been Mr. Kane with My Daily Math Coach, teaching you how to do flats and rods and exchanging rods for flats. The key strategy here is to carefully count them out, cross them as you go, and collect groups of 10 to equal one flat. So if this was helpful for you, you can go to YouTube and find us. It's www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash My Daily Math Coach. And you can also go ahead and search for My Daily Math Coach in the YouTube search bar. So have a great time, and I will see you in the next video.